Hi and welcome to this week's Arts Network Challenge. This week we're going to be doing the Morse code art activity from the rhythm issue of Stay Connected. Um, this activity, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be writing a phrase or a quote or something that we've written ourselves out and we're going to be writing it in Morse code and then we're going to be create some art, creating some art with it. Um, so yeah, to do this activity you'll need a Morse code alphabet. Uh, which is you can find in the rhythm issue of Stay Connected. Um, if you don't have the issue with you, don't worry, you can visit our website at artsnetwork.org.uk and you can get the issue in a digital format. So the first thing you need to do is choose a phrase or a quote that you like that you want to translate into Morse code. I've gone with the George Eliot quote that reads, it is never too late to be what you might have been. And what I've done is I've written it down in a column way like this on the paper. And then once you've done that, you can refer back to your Morse code alphabet and begin translating each letter. So once you've had your whole phrase translated into Morse code, the next thing to do is get a blank piece of paper and start making art out of it. Uh, now, there's loads of different ways that you can do this. Uh, in our workshop that we did last week, we had all sorts of ideas. The one thing that I'm going to, going to do is draw a pathway and then write the Morse code letters out along that pathway. So, I take my piece of paper and I can draw a line. And then along that line, I'm going to start uh, writing out my Morse code. So there you go, I've now written out um, my Morse code along the pathway. Uh, you'll notice that I had to actually extend the pathway a bit because I ran out of space. Um, so now once you've oops. so now once you've got your Morse code pathway, uh, it's time to start decorating it and colouring it in. So I'm just gonna start colouring in my dots and dashes in red and blue. Uh, there you go, and then I'm going to write the translation next to and around the word. And there you have it, um, that's uh, my Morse code art. Uh, there's loads of things you can do with this, you don't have to just stick with this, but it's just a way of thinking about using Morse code creatively to write something that's hidden in plain sight. So yeah, um, I hope you have fun with it. If you try it at home, please send it in to us at stayconnected at artsnetwork.org.uk. We'd love to see it. Um, yeah, and stay well and see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.